what's going on everyone uh, this morning we're at the laundromat my friend's laundromat I'll leave the link in the description right here uh, I was here changing out the filters and stuff and they had a no heat situation down below they had a power outage Good morning Tyler uh, today we're going to be doing some uh, preventative maintenance on these units uh, cleaning the coils and then cleaning the evaporator coils on both of them there and here and we'll get you some footage so we pulled these out the 14 by 25 by twos go here and then the 15 by 20 by twos go up here we just pulled these out last time I replaced them was October or November 11th 2022 um, so yeah Tyler's gonna go down and grab some new filters and we'll get those fixed replaced too and then today we're using the uh, Viper Venom Pack um, I actually made some up in uh, a sprayer paid like 15 bucks for it Menards this is for bleach and disinfectant so it should last quite a while um, I mixed up a little bit, put some water in there. I'm going to vacuum these coils off. They're not real, real bad, but they need some, uh, they need some attention. So we're going to vacuum them off, and then I'll spray some of that up on there and let it foam up, and uh, we'll kind of vacuum up around there and clean the top and all that good stuff. We got uh, got this coil as clean as we can get it without taking a power washer to it. <laughs> Don't want to do that, obviously. And I uh, cleaned in here. This one, this side wasn't bad, obviously, but yeah, should be uh, good to go. Tyler's working on the one down there. Gonna put some new filters in and. Uh, Button this section up, then I'll start cleaning on the event or the condenser coil. The new filters in. Got those in place, broke the dates on them so know when they were replaced, and then we'll button this one up. This hasn't been clean in a while, so just take a brush and use the venom on there and kind of clean everything right off. I know I should be going from the inside out, but I'm not going to tear into it and just doing this and I'll take the leaf blower and blow everything out when I'm done. Micro channel, you got to hate them. Pretty dirty though. You gotta make sure you rinse this thoroughly, otherwise it could damage the coils, even though it says safe for micro channels and aluminum. You gotta make sure it's rinsed thoroughly. So you pretty much don't see no more foaming action.
to it. A lot of water coming out of there. Yeah. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Your coils off, uh, the evaporator coils change the filters because um, he had an issue last year and he had a company come out and charged him a whole boatload of money and it was on a weekend. Um, so I basically, even though I put these things in 10 12 years ago, I uh, I just just maintain them. That's it. And then so he has somebody else come and uh, diagnose and fix and all that stuff because I just don't have time. Yeah, uh, just pretty much a one man show. Doing commercial sometimes it takes a little longer than residential and besides I don't like being on the roof when it's 120 degrees out so so that's it guys uh, if you got any kind if you got any uh, information out of this content smash that thumbs up button and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing it helps the channel and if you are the one who's smashing the thumbs down do that twice that'd be great have a good one